Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're dismantling a Bluetooth earpiece. I'm gonna point out some really cool parts that you can use for other projects, and I'm actually gonna walk you through some of the projects we can do with it. Bluetooth technology is really quite amazing, and it has a lot of advantages over some of its predecessors, like infrared transmissions, as well as certain types of radio wave utilization. So stick with me as we take it apart, and then look at the description below, which I will walk through a lot more of the details about how Bluetooth works. We're gonna carefully pry apart all of the exterior surface material, especially this particular sticker that covers the outside because that's gonna let us get to the screws so that we can actually start to take this thing apart carefully and salvage the parts intact. On this particular Jabra earpiece, there are two small screws up by this button that we need to remove, and then we can carefully get the case taken apart. Whenever I'm separating the case from something that has a PCB or any other kind of circuitry inside, I want to be careful just in case that circuitry is attached to part of the case. I don't want to start ripping any wires out of any device that I might want to salvage and use again. So let's slowly start to lift that PCB off the bottom piece. And you'll notice here, we actually have the microphone, which is attached and glued in place. So you got to work a little extra hard to get this microphone out of the tip of the Jabra earpiece itself. Once that's out, you're actually gonna find that the speaker for the earpiece itself comes out much easier. If you're not too familiar with speakers, it's good to know that there is a strong little neodymium type of a magnet inside a speaker, which is how it makes itself work as a speaker. So be careful, but you can always salvage it out to use the magnet or keep the speaker intact like I'm doing. This particular earpiece actually had a vibration alert, which is why it had that ERM or eccentric rotating mass motor. That eccentric rotating mass motor is basically a little vibrator, and I'm gonna show you more about that in just a minute as well. Now what you see here are all the primary parts, and that's where the power connects. These are the two little push buttons, and you can see the speakers up front, as well as the mouthpiece, and that rotating motor. So, let's take a little bit of a closer look at these great parts that we're getting out of here. Many of these devices salvaged intact give you a great rechargeable battery, but let's start by taking a closer look at that vibrating motor or eccentric rotating mass motor. You'll see what I've done here is I've taken some old AAA batteries, hooked them up to some alligator clips, and at the end of the alligator clips, I just put a couple of long T-pins in there to use as probes. I'm then gonna touch the connections for the eccentric rotating mass motor and show you how it looks and works. This motor itself is worth the salvage. There's some great projects as you can see to the left that we can do with this, and a few of these I've made before and I'm gonna be making videos out of again in the future. I love the little prank ideas you can do with this, as well as different kinds of alerts. You'll notice the sound here once it's in contact with something. You move it up a little bit further and get it in contact with plastic, and it makes a louder noise. You keep it going even more or attach it strongly to something and you can get a much louder noise or even a shocking kind of vibration effect that people might not expect. And that's exactly why it's great in prank items. Well, let's keep looking at some of the other projects we can make here. Take your little earpiece and make a secret mini earpiece. Use a rechargeable battery pack in another project. Make a hidden microphone. Or you can actually use the entire thing as a Bluetooth controller for another device. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.